Guys, MTG SDM here, and look what we have. Booster box. Boom. There's. Yay! <laughs> that probably missed you off, you know? Okay, so. Wow. That's a lot. Okay, so. Let's just go one at a time and start a giant pile. So. Let's see. Okay, so I have my brother Drew here with me. Yes, I am right here. And he's going to open a booster pack. So, here's the first booster pack. Let's start a mound of trash. We got a few commons, uh, feather food skin, sandals, sed sedge scorpion. Pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, destroy target mountain. Re damage to that land's controller. That's pretty good. Let's see. And we got ourselves in Arbor Colossus. Well, it's a great first booster pack. So, let's see. We have all our commons in this pile. This is going to build up. We have our land and our tokens in our own commons. Okay. So, Arbor Colossus. Three forests to, um, three forests to colorless. It's a giant and it's rare. It has reached the 6-6. Six, six. It has Monstrosity 3. For 3 mana and 3 colorless. And whenever it becomes monstrous, I destroy a target creature with flying in opponent controls. It's pretty good. So, nice first booster pack. We'll have Drew open the second one. Alright, we're going to open an Elspeth one. Not that it matters, but it just has Elspeth on it because it can. Come on! Here we go. All right. Uh, common, 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 commons. Ooh, wait! Ooh. We got Titan Strength. Titan Strength, Ordeal of Perforos, and Ordeal of Perforos. And an ordeal of Fasa. Ooh, we're getting lots of ordeals. And a uh, Triton, Triton tactics. tactics is great. Ooh, another soldier of uh... soldier of Pantheon. One mana. I have that one. That's pretty good. It's a one mana two one protection from multicolor. And whenever you ca an opponent casts a spell, you gain one life. That's really good. One mana two one. Yeah. And then you got yeah. the token thing. So rares. Uh, Triton tactics perfect. Just put the common, common, all, common. This is our common, common pile common. right here. A whole bunch of commons. Common pile. Not too bad. Uh, do you have uncommons? Do we put the uncommons? Yeah, uncommons. It's uncommon pile. Uncommons. Okay, let's open up some more. Let's see. All right. Oop! I already see we got chosen by Heliod. Not bad. I have that card in my deck right now. Monemonic wall. Okay. Zero four has a defender. And when it enters the battlefield, you will return an instant or sorcery spell from your graveyard to your hand. Pretty good. Lightning strike. Perfect. Go with the black red aggro deck. Another amulet. Voiding Seder. Another Titan Strength. Um Fanatic of Mobius. Uh that's a god. My brother has some. Uh, when enters the battlefield, it deals damage to your uh, each opponent equal to your devotion to red. Ember Swallower. This is our rare. Oh, we also got Ordeal of Nylia. So our rare token stuff like that. Our rare is a. Uh, let's see. The rare is a four five two mana two fire two colorless. It is five. Uh, colorless and two red for monstrosity three, which would make it a seven eight. And when it becomes monstrous, each player sacrifices three lands. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Oh my god. Okay, so he has to sort like that. I'm very OCD. He is sorting them all by their cover. Okay. So we have. Lightning Strike, all of our commons here. 
Um, and then we have our uncommon. Nice, nice, nice. Well, I'm generally happy with the first three booster packs. Let's hope another one. This one uh, has this kind of So. Okay, so again, guys, we're hoping for either an Ashiok or an Elspeth. Uh, we got Temple of Mystery. Nice. Well, these are all Elspeths, but not meaning they're going to have an Elspeth in them. So Temple of Mysteries are rare. We have a Ferris Van Centaurs, just a 3-7. Pretty good. Now he has Presents. We have our Skull Cleaver, Nimbus Nyad, Voyages End, Oakland Crusader. Nice for an aggro deck. Got it in mind right now. Uh, hmm. Blood Toll Harpy. Flying and when it enters the battlefield, each player loses one life. Then Thick Giant. Voyaging Sayer. Ooh, this one is good. Especially for a Minotaur deck. So, when it's uh, black red. Whenever all Minotaur creatures have haste. And then, whenever. A Minotaur creature attacks with a plus 2 and plus 0 until end of turn. That's not bad. It's actually really good. So, that wraps it up for our commons. Uh, there's another uncommon. We have an Alkalite here. It's pretty much just like an Elvish Mystic. Oh, wait. Never mind. Tap. Add an amount of green mana to your mana pool equal to your devotion to green. Pretty good. Uh, we have a... Decorated Griffins, 2-3, and prevent the next one combat damage that would be dealt to you this turn for one colorless and one uh, planes. So, Elspeth. Sure. Elspeth. Elspeth. Another Elspeth. I'll be opening Elspeth, if you are wondering. Most, some of them. Yeah, not all of them, but I'll be opening only Elspeths for, until they run out. Common, common. Ooh, wait, we got another. God's wait. willing. Wait, what is this? Uh, oh, messenger team. speed. Good card. Um, oh yes, yes. We have a great merchant of Ashnaffle. That's he's really good. When he enters the battlefield, each opponent loses X life, where X is your devotion to black, and you gain life equal to the um, life loss this way. That's really good. All right, and then you got a uh, rescue from the underworld. Basically, what it does is. It is a instant add as an additional cost to rescue from the underworld. Sacrifice a creature, and then choose a target creature card in your graveyard. Return that creature card or that card, which is a creature card, and the sacrificed card to the battlefield under your control at the beginning of your next upkeep. Exile this card. Pretty good. Here's our common. Was that still? And then this one just counters a blue spell. Um, Seder Piper. Ooh. This is a Agent of the Fates with Death Touch. There's 3 2 with Death Touch. And whenever you cast a spell that targets it, each opponent sacrifices a creature. I give up. I give up, guys. That's pretty good. Let's see. Um, let's open this one now. And we're probably going to split this into two parts after we go on, like, the 15-minute mark. Okay, so we have... Is this the exact same thing as the last one? No way. Oh, <gasps> yes! Yes! Okay, okay. So first off, we got Chosen by Heliod. We already have that. Mnemonic Wall. We got a Viper's Kiss. Another Lightning Strike. Death Bell Raider. Borderland Minotaur. Titan Strength. Traveling Philosopher. Yoked Ox. Blood Toll Harpy. Just some normal commons and uncommons. Burnished Heart. Uh, it's a 2-2 for 3 mana. A col 3 colorless. And for another 3 colorless, you can sacrifice it and search your library for 2 basic land cards. Put them onto the battlefield, tap them, stuff your library. Pretty good. Then we have uh, just a Besto creature. Plus 3, plus 3. And, yeah. And then we got a 100-handed one. Best card ever. It's it's just awesome. I'll explain it to you in a second once we sort out common uncommons. More commons. Uncommons. Land. Token. Okay. So Hundred Hand One costs two planes and two colorless. The giant. 
Vigilance, 3-5, pretty good, but when you make a monstrous, he's monstrous 3 to make him a 6-8. As long as Hunter's Handed 1 is monstrous, it has reach and can block an additional 99 creatures in combat. That's just... Usually you can only block one creature, but now you can block 99 creatures. That That's pretty good. That, that's really good. Let me strike back in common. So far we have all these rares, and we're not, we're not even close to done. Okay, now we're going to uh, do one with Perforos on it. Ooh, we got a Stimmy Hopes. Pretty nice. Counter target spell with controllers play, pays one. Borderland Minotaur, Scholar of Aetheros, Fade and Jackity, Satar Rambler, 2 1 with Trample. Observant, LCI, something like that. Besto, Ode to Tutu with Vigilance, and Besto that. Some other good commons. Oh, I see we have a foil. Foil Opaline Unicorn. And a Night Howler. You. Mm, mm. Night Howler and Enchanted Creature get plus X plus X, where X is the number of creature cards in all graveyards. That's really good. So, uh, I'll make a foil pile here. Let's see all of our commons. We have a giant common pile so far. Ooh, we got a crab guy thing. It's pretty cool, because he's just a crab. I mean, you can't get better than a crab. Almost best. Alright. 3-3. Three, three. Um, Lash the Whip, basically. Minus 4, minus 4 until end of turn. Learn to Skull Cleaver. Um, uh, Vaporkin. Um, oh, this one's decent. Uh, Fade into Anacuity. Um, Exile, Target, Artifact, or Enchantment for Rihanna. Two, um, two forests and one, um, close. And, uh, then you got a Triad of Fates. There's three options. Uh, it's a 3-3. Three, three. Basically... Um, you can put a fate counter on another target creature, and put a ex exile target creature that has fate counter on it, return it to the battlefield under its owner's control. Um, exile target creature that has fate counter on it, its controller draws two cards. So, fate counter, um, it's basically just tapping it for the one mana, or, yeah, one mana. And then, yeah, pretty good.